You're watching The Wedge, and we have Dogstar, and the members of the band, Rob Mailhouse. Yes, here. yes. Yeah. Rob Mailhouse. And also Keanu Reeves. Yes, good afternoon. <laughs> So okay, um, maybe you can fill us up with a bit of fill us up with some history. How did the the band come together? Now you two met in '91, is that right? Yeah, right. Sure, we met. In, we uh, met, and then uh, what do you want? What version? What, what, what version are we telling? Let's give the Monarch Note version. What's what's that? We met. We met in a supermarket. Oh, you're going way oh, back. Yeah, yeah. The whole detail. In what I what can... section of the supermarket? Um, it Check was out. Check carrots. <laughs> Check out. It was and, a uh, hockey day. Yeah. Was I, hockey. Play, I, I had, play hockey net. And, uh -huh. He stuck his peanut butter in my chocolate. And, <laughs> and it was just a whole thing. Sometimes yeah. you feel like a nut, sometimes <laughs> you don't. And uh, anyway, I had a house, a jam space. Uh, some friends had put equipment there. Uh, we met, played some hockey. Robert came over, he played keyboards, and then uh, a friend of mine left some drums. He started to play drums, we jammed. A friend of his came from New York, Greg, Mil Greg Miller. We played for a couple of years out locally. We went on tour and stuff, and then uh, Brett came along. Uh, he delivered was working with Greg. We had him delivered. <laughs> he walked in here the jam space. Stork. Yeah. Yes. He could carry a note. He well, can carry more than he, a note. Yeah, Brett, Brett's um, been that, in, I think, what is it, 400 bands? 407. 407. And uh, anyway, so he came in and, and he, he played with us for a while. We oh, went on the tour of the now. States. Huh? And then after the States tour, Greg Miller started his own band mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and musical yes. differences. And, um, and then we went on tour last summer, and right. now we're on tour this summer. Right. And, and here we are. Were you, you, you two were actors, too. Or you, you, you were out and as well a, yeah. a Hollywood yes. actor guy. Yeah, we, we did Days of Our Lives. Actors. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Days of Our Lives. Yeah. You know, you know, Days. Matt? We did, uh, an, uh, and I was in Speed, a little part in Speed. Oh, yeah. So what did and, uh, you do in Days of Our Lives? Were you a good guy or a bad guy? Or... I was um, I was a detective. A like detective. A, yeah, was a bumbling detective. That was a long time ago. It was a long time. Yeah. And there's sort of a Toronto connection there, because you went out with, what's your name, uh, Melissa from Days oh, right, of Our right. Lives. That's and right. She's actually Canadian talk show host Camilla Scott. Oh, really? Just, like, down the street. Oh, really? Hi, Camilla. <laughs> <laughs> and so then you guys put out the album, <laughs> My Little Visionary, and you put it out on Volcano Records and had a problem with with the marketing. They wanted to market no, you differently? Or yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, I was, it was originally on Zoo Records, and then we were on tour in Europe, and when we got back, Zoo Records had been purchased by Volcano Records, right. and they kind of wiped out the staff, and yeah. we didn't know anybody anymore, and it was just really weird. So hmm. yeah. we split. They wiped was, out the staff. What was, what was the way that they wanted to market you that was so terrible? They wanted us to appear on... One time they wanted us to appear on a, on a soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. That's a really? good rock and roll move, isn't no it? No way. Oh, no. Yeah, As right. the band? I hear like, Marilyn Manson would have died. Yeah, Marilyn Manson. Yeah, he, they couldn't get Marilyn Manson to do uh, The Young and the Restless. So. We'll get Dog Star. Yeah. It was just they'll odd. do it. They'll do anything. They yeah. like anything. Yeah. Yeah. We're They're like stupid. Mikey in the they'll Life Serial commercial. So we said, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then you took you took the unreleased CDs and you hit the road. Uh, and you're yeah. selling them at the shows, which is a pretty amazing sort of grassroots approach to getting your music out there. Starting over. Do you, like, nice. do you like doing that? Yeah. It's like, do you go, OK, everyone, our CDs are available in the back there. Yep. <laughs> it's yep. exactly like that. And you also sell it on the net. Yes, yeah, so, so on the internet. Yeah, we have to give that address. Um, it's at www.dogstarfan.com, and that's how you would be able to get a Dog Star CD. Cool. So, um, it does, coming and from free Hollywood... free lunch, too. <clears throat> free lunch? Yes. Right on. Um, coming from Hollywood, is this a very big difference in lifestyle? Like, hitting the road and, like, doing these smaller shows and stuff like that? Well, you're in your car a lot in Los Angeles, so maybe yeah. not. You yeah. know, you stop for lunch and... Yes. No. <laughs> yes, can breathe here. Completely yeah. Yeah. Do you like it better or uh, worse, or are they just two different things? What, normal life and being on the road? Yeah. Yeah, they're really different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're true. both great. I, yeah. mean, uh, I miss the toilet paper in my home. Oh, yeah. My Some people toilet. are very partial to sitting on their own toilet. Your own throne. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. That, that could be a problem. <laughs> and so the guy who's penning most of the There's songs no is you, like though, throne. right? Brett, and mm -hmm. so I was, did you read all the lyrics? Yeah. So I'm noticing through the songs, there's at we least three songs. He had some bad tuna fish today, so he's a little under the weather. Are you okay? He has a bad tuna. He a little bad tuna, right? <laughs> I may have. A little mayonnaise thing. I'll let you know. You all right? So out of, the, out of all the songs here, there's at least three where you're singing about sleeping alone. So well, what's up with that? 
Yeah. Are you? No, are you? Normal life. This is the road. <laughs> really? Right. Yeah. If you now you're the road, road warrior, and you're really no, sleeping no. alone. No, no. Yeah, sleeping alone. What is yeah, that? Yeah. Is that? Is that because you're drinking alone? alone? Are you a lonely guy? Are you guys lonely guys? We're artists. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to sleep alone. It's the pain. Or, or do you choose to sleep alone? Uh, no, not always. You know, uh, it's. Like, I, re I don't even know which three songs you're talking about. Oh, okay, let's see. <laughs> They're Breathe Tonight, Nobody Home, and Honesty Anyway. Sleeping okay. alone. Lying alone. Well, it's like being away from a person you care about. Yeah. And, and you're out here, like, we're like 3,000 miles from home or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, it's sometimes you're at a party and all night, you're hanging out with 100 people, and then yeah. you go back to the hotel and you sit there and you're like, wow. That's the blues, the blues story. And Matt was familiar with the blues, your character on Days of Our Lives. Stop that. <laughs> I don't but want to you, go back. You to, have to. You have to. No, no, okay, no, we're no. going to take a look at your video first. This is Honesty it's not Anyway. Real, I mean, it's a video. It's, a, it's cut from a collage from the enhanced CD. <laughs> oh, it is. Right. Like Quattro right. Formaggi. It's, like it's not like we went out and shot this no, video. No, it's very low budget. It's very low yes. budget. It's like, it was all shot on high eight. High eight video. Yeah. And yeah. By our we were on tour. We were opening for Bon Jovi in Australia. I know you got to get to a commercial, but anyway, so it's not like a real video, 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 but it's just yes. like, a kind of collage. I like it. I like it. High eight video. There's also directed by Joe Trebonic, who helped put this together along with our manager and uh, some other ghost cameras and it's a fun little collage and the crowds are going crazy in this little video here oh. okay we'll be back with dog store after the video <laughs> the radio is getting like all right, we're back with Dog Star. And so, uh, Keanu, I have uh, a question. You, you were, you lived in Toronto for a great deal of your, your upbringing. Yeah. Yeah. So how's it, how is it to be back here in Toronto? Uh, it's nice. Uh, we, we came in from Montreal, and I, we slept most of the way here. And I woke up, and I came down. I said, so we're, we're on the Don Valley. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the Don Valley. The old Don Valley. And I'm like, you know, and I, I kind of told the bus driver how to get to the hotel. And it's, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Right. I grew up in the annex. And, um, in the Bloor Annex? <clears throat> yeah, like around Yorkville, Louder. Yeah, that's a nice area. Uh, and then I also lived out in Shaw by Hop. And then I lived out by High Park. And so. Do you um, think Toronto like um, helped to inform a lot of who you are as a person? Yeah, of course it yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah, I lived here from when I was seven until 20. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Cool. Most definitely. Right on. And what other upcoming projects do you fellas have? You're going to hit the road? And how many more? You've got, you're going to be About touring North America? weeks more. Yeah. And then we Kendall. went home and dropped dead for about a month. Yeah, straight to the Betty Ford Club. <laughs> and, and are you, any uh, I'm other... having my liver replaced in Chicago. <laughs> I'm doing live cell. <laughs> any other um, sh uh, film projects for you fellas? I have a picture coming out hopefully in October, October 17th, called Devil's Advocate. Um, kind of horror drama picture. Right. The yeah, horror. it's really good. Yes, a horror That's picture. Excellent. Yes, yes. Do you find that this Very lifestyle different. is quite different from the acting too? Like, or um, yeah, doing yeah, music? Do you feel like it's more like you can be yourselves as opposed to acting in a role? No, I because mean, I, I don't know. I don't know enough about acting, maybe, but. Acting seems very unnatural to me. Mm. This seems very like you just go out and do exactly what you feel every night, the way you want to do it. Acting is someone else telling you how to feel, how to look. No, no, That's because me, no. Oftentimes, though, it's interpretive, so you're you're being asked to draw from yourself and, and directly and feel what you to express. These guys seem pretty natural. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're if you're lucky, I mean, while they may it, even share person. the bed with you if you're feeling lonely. You nice to sleep alone. <laughs> Okay, um, Helps him write. and in Vancouver, we don't let playing. him sleep with anyone because then he won't write. Oh. So we just, we just like, <laughs> we're like, this no, you know, by your band he's, he's alone and uh, he has to be alone because <laughs> he's we, writing we a we song about write. it right now. Yeah, so he doesn't know that. Where are we playing tonight? We're, we're the we're government. The, we're the government. The government. The government. The Eleven o'clock. Yeah. yeah. East Key Street. In Toronto and uh, in Vancouver, the 28th of July in Graceland. And good luck on the tour. Drive Graceland. safely. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You don't have to drive. Yeah. You don't have to drive. Are you no. flying? We have a driver, this guy, Billy Smart. Oh, well, that's lucky. That's good. Yeah. We'll tell him to drive safely. Okay. And fast. He drives good. You're, you're golden. Okay, take care. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. This is Clash Tommy Gun. Um, yes. Request from the boys.